All right, we're going to talk about impact. And what is impact? Impact is the point with which we hit the golf ball. Okay, a lot of people that I teach have the incorrect concept of impact. They have a thought that they start square, they swing back, and they come back to a square position. The problem with that is that that often causes the ball to go to the right. Okay? So we see that a lot with beginners, a, a terrible lot. So I want to teach you today a little bit about what impact actually looks and feels like and then give you a drill that you can do at home to practice this. Now I've got a soft yellow golf ball, just a, a My Golf Kids one, it goes about 20 to 30 metres. You can roll up a sock at home, grab one of those plastic ones with the holes in it, whatever you like, whack it into the back fence. All right, just something to hit to practice this. All right, so what does the actual correct impact position look like? Well, we swing back, and as we start to come down to the ball, there's a natural shift forward, and the body starts to rotate as well, okay? So essentially, the hips start to turn open, and, they, and you also start to put a lot more pressure on the front foot or the lead foot, okay? Now, the, the shoulders at impact are relatively square, but the hips are quite a bit open. Now, how do we practice that? Well, I've got a drill I'm going to show you. Okay, you can see here I've just got the golf bag lying on the ground. You don't need much. Just something, you can put a bunch of towels in a backpack. Just something that has a little bit of weight and is soft enough that you can tap against it without breaking anything. I have to be careful here not to hit this too hard, or I could break a shaft, but I, I'm confident I won't do that. So I'm going to take my normal stance, I'm going to take a, a nice little tiny swing and I'm just going to rotate with my hips and push into the bag I suppose with the, I can feel pressure up my left wrist, up my left arm into my left shoulder, alright, and I can also feel the weight into my left hip. I'm rotating a little bit and my foot is starting to come up off the ground a little bit. What you don't want is to just be doing it with your arms independent of your body. We need them to feel, you can see there how I'm not hitting the bag hard, but my hips and my arms are working together. All right? So make sure you can feel your, your body is getting involved. Right, that's it's actually your body that actually gets everything to line up with the uh, the flat left wrist and the hands in front at impact. It's not it's not the arms working independent, and I suppose that's what this drill is really all about. So let me show you how we do that over the ball now. Okay, so we've practiced the drill. Now I'm going to try that again over the ball. So I come into the ball. I practice that feeling of pressure. Pressure into the bag, pressure, hips feeling open, and weight onto the front foot. And then I, I hold that position, and then I do a little swing. And here. And you can do that as many times as you like. You can press, press, we kind of call it a pumping drill. And then hit. That is a great way to practice. You can see there I really almost fell over because the pressure was pushing me forward. And that is a great exercise for you to learn the correct impact position, the feel of it, the look of it, and while you're at home, it, as I showed you, it doesn't take much to be able to practice it.